This is a follow-up video to the video where we looked at our EEG brainwaves while playing music. In this video, we're showing the readings while we're not playing music so that you can see the difference. I'm going to compare the readings immediately after playing music with the readings from a day when we haven't played music at all. The footage that you see now is from a day when we haven't played music. In my previous video, I described the difference between what you see here and the readings where we're actually playing music. So check that one out to see that. What we're actually checking out in this video is the hypothesis that after playing music, maybe we'll notice a measurable difference in the brain that persists for a period of time after we're not playing music anymore. After all, we would hope that playing music would help us to feel better and the effects of this would persist longer than the time when we're actually playing the music. In this video, I'll tell you what I noticed in this regard. First though, I wanted to talk about something that I've mentioned in my other videos. When I first received my headset, I mentioned that it didn't work well and I found out the reason was because one of the contact gummies was hard and not conducting. And so I complained about this to Emotive and they did send me a whole new set of contact gummies for free. So I wanted to mention that that was good customer service, that they do try to stand behind their product. Also, I mentioned how Emotive software didn't work for me. Now, I never had a problem getting the software that I wrote myself with the Emotive to work. There's a program called the Emotive app that you use to connect the Emotive headset to their software. And so if you can't get that Emotive app to make connection with the headset, then you won't be able to use the Emotive software. Now, I did show a while back, I installed it and I was able to use it and go online just fine with that. But then through no fault of my own, it just stopped working. However, I wanted to mention that I recently received a message on my computer asking me if I wanted to update my Emotive software. And so I clicked yes. And after I updated it, it worked again. So Emotive software is somewhat problematic. I think this is to allow it to communicate over the internet. And so it's getting into security, which is always a complicated thing. So being that they're trying to do these things with the headset, I mean, I really applaud them for their efforts. Technology isn't easy and it's better to have an unsuccessful attempt at something that you're trying to do than make no attempt at all. So I really appreciate that Emotive created this headset in such a way that it allows the users to program it uh, the way they would like it to be programmed. And for me, that program is always reliable for me. So when I say that Emotive software stopped working, I'm not being critical of Emotive. I'm just being realistic. It actually did do that. I appreciate that in view of the challenges, Emotive didn't give up and say that they're not going to do anything, but I am acknowledging what those challenges are. Okay, so now on the screen now, what's showing up is the readings from immediately after playing music. So did I notice any differences? I really kept looking at Beth's numbers to try to find a difference, but I couldn't find any in her numbers. If you notice a difference, please leave it in the comments though. Maybe there was something I just didn't notice. On the other hand, with my numbers, I did notice a difference. I seem to have high alpha and theta, and conversely, I have low readings for the high beta. Across all five sensors, I have this. In fact, those blue boxes that appear, there's one for each sensor, they indicate that that particular sensor is meeting the target set in the program. And those targets would be high alpha and theta with low levels of high beta. And as you see in this footage from after playing the music, much of the time, all five sensors are meeting the target set for me. So it seems that after playing music, I am relaxed and that my brain is doing a lot of subconscious processing. So an obvious question would be, 
why didn't Beth seem to have the same result? And honestly, I don't know for sure. Maybe it's because she wasn't singing. Maybe singing is what really has this effect. If you have any other idea of what the difference could be, leave it in the comments. For more health and wellness content, please subscribe to our channel and I'll see you in our next video.